Greetings from Dan McElroy. Thank you for your interest in San Jose City College and the programming classes I am teaching. A great big welcome to the spring 2024 semester. I'm sending this video because either you are registered in one of my programming classes or you're on a wait list. The information in this video is about the same as the welcome email being sent. I have many years experience in the computer industry, both in hardware and software. I'm looking forward to sharing my experience and passion for programming with you. By taking one of these classes, they may be the most important ones you take. They lay the foundation for your future courses in programming, both at San Jose City College and if you are planning a career in computer science or computer engineering. These are late start classes, meaning they do not start at the beginning of the regular spring semester. Instead of 16 weeks for these classes, the Java programming class compresses a full semester's work into only 14 weeks. The Java class starts on February 12 and ends on May 24. The C++ C++ programming class compresses a full semester's work into only 8 weeks. The C++ C++ class starts on April 1 and ends on May 24. The classes are fully asynchronous online with no required on-campus or online class meetings. The classes are being taught using videos, reading assignments, quizzes, and lab assignments. There are no prerequisites, but there are advisories that you should be able to read a college-level textbook, write lab reports each week, understand basic algebra, participate in several discussion topics during the course, and do independent research on the web. The classes transfer is the equivalent to CS1, Computer Science 1, at the University of California and California State University. If you plan to transfer to a university, meet with a counselor to confirm your transfer plans. These classes cover the basics of programming. After covering the basics of these languages, we move on to more advanced topics such as references, arrays, multi-file projects, disk file access, and object-oriented programming. The Java class also covers graphical user interfaces. This is one of my big concerns. Is this really the right course for you? If you really want to learn programming, transfer to computer science or computer engineering at a university, then this is the class for you. These are the classes I wish I had when I was learning software. However, a computer programming course may not be a good fit for you if you are not really interested in becoming a programmer or computer engineer. A few students in the past signed up for a programming course because they needed three units to qualify for a sports team or satisfy requirements for financial aid, only to discover that they really wanted an introduction to computers course. San Jose City College offers the CIS 41 Introduction to CIS course, which is a different class to take if you want to learn more about computers and extend your skills with different software applications but are not concerned about the many details of coding. If you're not interested in a programming course, you may want to drop this class and sign up for a different class before the beginning of the regular semester, January 29, 2024. If you wait until the first day of this class, you may not be able to make alternate plans because most other classes will have already started. The syllabus contains a lot of information about the course, including the course outline, textbook, hardware and software requirements, due dates, getting help, grading, drop policy, and late penalties. I encourage you to carefully read the syllabus. You should save a copy of the syllabus. You may need it if you plan to transfer to another school so that they can compare the SJCC class to one of their own classes. The CIS 84-101 Java Programming Syllabus is at program-info.net slash java slash CIS space 84.101 space SP24 space MacElroy comma space dan.pdf. The CIS 54-102 C C++ Programming Syllabus is at program-info.net slash C++ slash C I S space 054.102 space SP24 
space Mac Elroy comma space Dan dot PDF. Watch the capitalization and spaces in the web address. These classes require a significant amount of work each week. The Education Code stipulates that college level work is earned through 48 hours of study for each unit. This equates to 144 hours for a three unit semester length class and covers time for lectures, lab projects, and homework. Since these are online classes, everything is homework. Although these two classes are shorter than the 16 week semester, they still cover a full semester's work. The requirement is the same for an online or on-campus class, a full semester or late start class. You may wish to consider taking the class at a different time if you have vacation plans or your schedule is full of other important obligations. These classes are divided into learning module. The Java class has one module per week that starts each Monday. 144 hours divided by 14 weeks equals 10.3 hours per week. Therefore, plan on about 10 hours work each week in the Java class. The C++ class has two modules per week, one on Monday and another one on Thursdays. Plan on about 9 hours per module or 18 hours per week. 144 divided by 8 weeks equals about 18 hours per week. You may be able to spend less time if you already have a background in programming. There will be many exercises that require independent problem solving on your part. Some of these skills are like solving word problems in an algebra class. You can complete the class assignments on your own schedule, but are expected to submit them by their due dates. There's already a wait list of students wanting to get into the class. You are not registered in the class if your name is on the wait list. I will be able to add a few people from the wait list after the class starts, but I may not be able to add everyone that is on the wait list. San Jose City College is using Canvas as the Learning Management System, or LMS. The class webpage on Canvas contains class lectures, lab assignments, quizzes, tests, links to videos, class announcements, the course syllabus, and other information for the course. All assignments must be submitted using Canvas. San Jose Evergreen Community College District now uses a single sign-on to access network services, including the self-service registration system, Canvas, and Microsoft Office 365. To log in to Canvas, go to sso.sjeccd.edu on your web browser, enter your SJCC username and password to log in, then select Canvas. If you register for the class online or by telephone, you must pay your fees by the date requested or you will be dropped from the class and your place will be automatically given to a student on the wait list. I am really looking forward to having you in the class. Dan McElroy signing off for now.